Yeah, so we've got a bunch of new exciting modules for you this year. Um, first off, we've got drum modules. And so we've got three individual drums, uh, the kick, snare, and hat. And those are shown up here. Um, they are quite versatile modules. Each one uh, has a lot of flexibility. So the kick has a bi-directional tone control that affects the pitch envelope. It can make it really snappy to not snappy. And if you go right from center, you maintain the pure sine wave audio source, but if you go left from center, you introduce this really punchy saturation. The snare has a similar bipolar control that lends itself to creating some blips and bloops, as well as the more uh, anticipated And that's also based on a pure sine wave as well as a noise source. The hat is a very different beast itself. Uh, it's based on six square wave oscillators and uh, they're all detuned from each other in certain different ways. And uh, this blend control allows you to hear either just some cymbal type sounds, gradually introducing a noise source. The sizzle control gives you access to different timbres within each source by modulating filters and frequencies. And then as you go left from center on that control, it introduces a blend of ring modulation on all six of the oscillator sources. Crazy alien sounds. Moving on, we are uh, reissuing a new version of our OS as VCO. It's based on the Curtis CEM3340 chip. Uh, that was just reissued this year. Uh, we're excited to bring that out. Uh, it sounds wonderful. Uh, it's got three simultaneous outputs. You can see it here, and I'll even bring it up. And so that has three simultaneous outputs, a square wave, a saw wave, and a triangle wave. Uh, you get PWM over the square wave's pulse width, uh, hard sync and linear FM. Uh, it tracks volt per octave over its entire range. And uh, yeah, so we're excited to bring that one to you later this year. In addition, two new uh, remakes of our older modules, uh, RAND and LFO. They keep most of their older character, but we've added a little bit to each one. So the RAND now has a, two simultaneous outputs. One smooth, which is just a continuously moving uh, random voltage based on the position of the clock uh, rate and a quant output, which is a discrete random voltage, which is uh, generated at each clock pulse. It can be both internally and externally clocked. When externally clocked, the gates become a random probability. And when internally clocked, it is a square wave. Moving on, the LFO, again, much of the same stuff that was on the old one. Uh, reset your phase, rate, now we've added waveform CV to give you that chance to blend through all of your waveforms, as well as we expanded the range greatly. So now you can go from 150 hertz at the top all the way down to uh, about 30 seconds at the bottom. That's uh, in addition to the two primary uh, outputs. So you get two simultaneous waveform outputs instead of two different banks. And the waveform blending affects both uh, outputs at the same time. Next up, we've got Pluck, which is a Car Plus Strong based uh, string synthesizer. You can get really short tones. It tracks volt per octave across its whole range. Uh, you get some really bass guitar sounding sounds all the way to these lush. string sounds so that's an exciting one for later this year and last but not least we've got play play is our sampler it is uh, 96 kilohertz 24-bit audio uh, it's 
takes an SD card, you can load up any mono WAV file on it. You can trigger these uh, with the trigger or you can uh, loop them with the loop switch. And uh, that also features a pitch input volt per octave that goes down three octaves or up two octaves from the original pitch. Um, and the speed changes with the pitch as well, so that'll be a very speed control. So, um, uh, so you're saying uh, all of these want to be out before the end of the year, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, all, everything I showed you will be out this year. And uh, what sort of price point are we looking at? Um, we're looking at 129 for all the drums. Uh, to be determined for the VCO, the RAN and the LFO, but probably around uh, 100 120 dollars. And um, Pluck will probably be in the 129 range as well as Pluck. Excellent. Well, yeah, thank you very much. Great. Thank you.